Um, or I can, if someone speaks German at me, I can understand about 80% of what you're saying. I can like get by basically. <gasps> this is my favorite fortress I've ever played in. So the last outpost liaison died. So they appointed a new outpost liaison. All right, so that is a Gorlak. A Gorlak is a dwarf fortress specific creature. It's one of the unique creatures in dwarf fortress. Gorlaks are one of the only lawful good creatures in Dwarf Fortress. They have the maximum empathy stat. This one has a spear too, so you, you know it's serious. And I, I, th I think by, I, I don't, I guess this one wouldn't list it because I can't see his skills, but I think by default, they also have very high skills in cooking. Um, they normally show up as wild animals underground, which is a shame. They didn't always do that. They used to be more neutral, but um, so like, Livestock and dwarves will just get into fights with them. They usually show up in the caverns. They can sometimes show up as visitors. Essentially, they, they're an intelligent creature that normally just like roams the wilderness alone. But they are like, trying to think of an equivalent. You know, like the, the friendly spirits and spirited away that are just like kind of weird looking, but like the nicest thing in the world. It's basically what these are. This is my faction's noble, which now has me wondering... If my, holy shit, my queen is a Gorlack. Yeah, no, absolutely. Quick dip into Legends mode. I am, I'm going to split the save files and retire the fort. I, I, I need to know. Yeah, no, you, you can load it, is the simple version. So IMO, O-P-O, C-O-D-I. IMO, O-P-O, Female Gorlack, born in 147. Was a... I'm Frost Dive was a Gorlack. She was of an unknown parentage. She settled in Page Ferns. She became this... In the mid-spring of 500, she became this the, the Sheriff of the Superior Rock. So when I... um, So s settled in a place called Page Ferns. And... That's it. So in 503, Ray's ores got taken over by the Bronze Scorpion, which is a goblin sieve that I'm at war with, and took over it, and the new government was called the Deceiver, and somehow, <laughs> there's, first off, there's a lot of elves in Ray's ores, which is my, was one of my factions, right? I'm sorry, what? The goblin clashed with 5,056 goblins in Ray's ores. Okay, so let's scroll up to the top. The, the passionate cloisters of the Emerald Irons founded Ray's ores. Ray's ores uh, held the Warhammer, th uh, Warhammer throwing competition, typical. This is like a fortress of my faction, right? So it was taken over and they put a Gorlack in charge? Where's that other Gorlack? Nomas also settled. So there's two Gorlacks, Nomas and Immo. Yeah, because they got attacked uh, in the year 36 by the Bronze Scorpion and the defenders were like, blah, blah, blah. Because it was, it was routed, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so it was just, it was struck down. Um, the Tangled Plates of the, yeah. So this, this place was reclaimed. I remember seeing this in the overworld. Th this place was created by us and we reclaimed it right at the very, right when I embarked. So it was, it was reclaimed. Um, the Gorlack, this Gorlack here and a Yak Bull. Two yak bulls, or eventually, but literally just this Gorlack and one other dwarf after reclaiming it. So this Gorlack joined the faction and then settled here. My faction must be in a real bad time. Also, there's a bronze colossus here. 35 notable kills, 18 others. Okay, so we, a Gorlack who was part of my faction voluntarily reclaimed a site by themselves with a yak, and that Gorlack became my outpost liaison. This happened, this has all happened after I've started this fortress, by the way. And who was the previous queen, I guess, is the, is the next question. Because in 503, we got a new diplomat, general, baron, all of these characters are new. So who was the previous... So the dwarf niche ceased to be the outpost season. This was the previous one. So this dwarf, uh, Olin, was the original queen who died in 81 of old age. Okay, so the dwarf Stackwood became king. When did you die? 181. Okay, so Churist became king. Trying to go through the full lineage here. Died in... That's a 
awful name. Um, the <laughs> uh, fought in a battle in the vaginal jungle and died in 213 in the vaginal jungle. Wonderful. Um, 213 came queen. So then we got Kodal, who died in Joy Whip in by an elf in 247. There you go. Uh, dwarf Ast became king. I'm trying to just skip to the next one. There we go. We got a new queen, Bessmer in 452, be, who was struck down in 452 uh, by Joy Whip. Uh, by, so <laughs> became a queen and was struck down the same year. That's a very short-lived queen. So Bessmer became queen and then immediately died <laughs> the same year. Then we got a king, uh, was devoured by an elf the same year. <laughs> Uh, being struck down by a leopard isn't too strange if you're at war with elves, which we are. Although the goblins uh, appear to have taken over a lot of the elves, and the elves that they're fighting with are mostly actually goblin elves. Considering, like, the, the, the person who... The, the faction that eventually destroys it was struck down by a grizzly in 478. Um, was actually a goblin faction, not an elven faction. So Metob lasted till 479, was struck down by an elf. Jesus, man. Like, the average life expectancy for a royalty in this fort is awful. It was struck down in 480. Then we got a king named Goden, who lasted until 503. So King Do Goden was struck down after clashing with um, 5,074 goblins. Slayed eight of them. Wow. Um, you know, if Adventure Mode was in the game right now, you know what I would do, chat? I would start an Adventurer. And I would venture into raise ores or rise ores where my Gorlack queen is currently living and I would rescue them. I'd be like, you're gonna die, come with me. Or whatever. <laughs> 